Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of Aiden Nintendo Switch Emulator, the version 0.0.3 final update, which includes brand new performance improvements, compatibility improvements, and bug fixes. To get started, Eden is a completely open source Nintendo Switch Emulator available on its official GitHub, and the Eden Emulator version 0.0.3, the official stable release, was updated about three days ago. You guys will be able to see some crashing issues were fixed, along with that bug fixes and better support for platforms like like Mac OS. Now, Eden Emulator is available for Android, Mac OS, Windows, etc. So this release contains platform parity improvements, several incremental bug fixes to Vulkan JIT and CMake, minor UI fixes, improvements upon changes included in prior RCs along with that support for new games and updates. And here is the full changelog of this emulator's latest update. You guys can check it out on its official GitHub as I mentioned before. For today's video, we'll be using the optimized version of the Eden Emulator. As you can see, Eden optimized and when you open it for the first time you will see and set up like this so simply tap on get started after tap on next and make sure to import your necessary nintendo switch stuff for example keys and firmware that you have legally dumped on your android device once that's done simply tap on the continue button and here we go our eden emulator has successfully started now this is a very unique emulator it is actually fork version of yuzu android but it has lot of improvements a completely brand new ui and completely brand new set of settings with that out of the way let's apply the best settings i'll be showing you guys what to apply and what not to apply in terms of limit speed percentage set it to 400 percent afterwards go back go to the graphics section accuracy level should be normal resolution scaling you can set it according to your device specification for extremely low end android devices go with 0.25x or 5x uh, resolution but for today's video i'll go with 0.75x resolution scroll down enable force maximum clocks and also enable a synchronous shader if you are facing any graphical issues in terms of vsync mode make sure to set it to mailbox afterwards scroll down until you find aspect ratio make sure to set it to stretch to window and that's about it in terms of video settings in performance overlay make sure to enable performance overlay if you want to see how much fps are you getting along with that you can also check out the app memory usage and battery temperature which is pretty cool in terms of other settings audio output make sure to set it to auto device overlay you can enable it or disable it it will basically give you your device information and in terms of eden wells these are the experimental settings that are only available in eden emulator don't enable the extended dynamic state or else you might face graphical issues in games afterwards scroll down and make sure to enable enhanced frame pacing as well as fast gpu time gpu overclock factor is set to 2 shader backend is spirv which is the best shader backend in terms of astc recompression model is uncompressed vram more VRAM usage mode make sure to set it to aggressive after scroll down enable uh, this custom CPU ticks option and make sure to set CPU ticks around 30 31000 afterwards make sure to also enable LRU cache to improve performance that's about it in terms of best settings now you can go to GPU driver manager tap on the fetch button and make sure to add the best compatible graphics driver for your Android device now the device which I have has a snapdragon 8 Pro elite processor with Adreno 8 series GPU so you can use the game hub Adreno 8 series GPU but if you have a normal snapdragon device make sure to go with mr purple's turnip graphics driver but regardless i'll go with this system gpu driver in terms of applet launcher make sure to go to q launch simply launch it if you want to check out the nintendo switch home theme as you guys can see it is working properly inside the eden emulator you can also directly launch the games but sometimes they might boot sometimes they won't boot now that we have seen that everything else is working perfectly fine inside the eden emulator we can finally start emulating our favorite games such as pokemon sword now pokemon sword requires a save file because it might get stuck once you enter your name so simply import the save data as usual once the save data is imported successfully go back and launch your game so here we go game freak presents pokemon sword is about to start and so far so good i'm not seeing any graphical issues so let's press the a button and unfortunately it seems that the game has four stopped as you can see fps is stuck at zero zero so we'll simply restart our emulator. There can be some freezing issues because we enabled experimental settings such as the LRU cache. So if you do face any issues, then uh, set the hidden well settings back to the default section. And once again, as you guys can see, it's freezing quite a lot for some reason. Regardless, third time's the charm. I have pressed the A button and as you guys can see, our game has successfully started this time without any issues. 
explore the open world areas of Pokemon Sword which can be quite demanding. So here we go. Once we enter the outside world you guys can see the FPS at the top left corner of your screen. We are getting straight up 60 FPS while emulating Pokemon Sword. But let's go to some more demanding areas such as the meetup spot which is completely rendered in 3D. So here we go now we are in the meetup spot. You guys will be able to see the FPS has dropped down to 50 around 50-51 FPS. But still the game is running perfectly fine without any graphical issues whereas in previous versions there used to be lot of graphical issues and even on uh, processors like snapdragon 8 elite there are no more any graphical major graphical issues at least in games like pokemon sword though there are still some shadow issues as you guys can see the lightning shadow moves around uh, whenever i turn the screen of our character and now let's see in a pokemon battle how far can we get without getting any graphical issues so i have used Psybeam and yep that's about it no graphical issues at all so definitely hidden emulator has improved quite a lot and you can use this emulator to play nintendo switch games on any android device that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching goodbye